Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be testing out the Kim Kardashian West Beauty line. That's the KKW Beauty Contour Kits. Now I know I'm a little late to the party, okay? I'm a lot late to the party, but if you don't know, I am traveling right now. This is the first chance I got to get in front of the camera for you guys. I did notice that you guys are still asking for my opinion, so I thought better late than never. If you're anything like me, even if you watch like a hundred reviews, you still want to see your like favorite YouTubers opinions or you want to just see the differing opinions on the product to make your own judgment, you know, your own opinion on it. And I think that's the best way to do it. I tried not to watch a lot of the reviews or if I did watch I kind of skipped through I really want to give you guys like a raw first impression I haven't swatched them yet I haven't even opened my little packs yet I want to be as honest as I can be I know if I like the product I'll probably get hate if I don't like the product I'll probably get hate it's just such a controversial thing and I'm okay with that so let's start talking a little bit about how I got the product if you're not following my other socials you probably don't know but I was invited to go to the KKW Beauty launch party at Kim Kardashian's house hosted by Kim Kardashian. Kristen, Kim Kardashian's right there. What do you think? Um, Are you freaking out? Are you freaking out? Together. We're freaking out. Her contour kit. And then these are the brushes. Very nice. Got a sponge tip. Can't wait to try that. This room is incredible. Holy. We are at the KKW launch party. I thought I was going to like some big extravagant party that maybe she'd show up for like five minutes of the party, be like, hey guys, welcome to my lunch, and then like dip. It was literally her house. I met her mom, Kris Jenner. And I met her, I met Kim Kardashian, we talked for like 10 minutes, she was so nice and like humble, very professional the whole time, like wasn't snotty, was literally making an effort to walk up to people to talk to them and like welcome them to her home. I thought that was so cool. I was shook the whole time, because if you know me, you know that I really love the Kardashians. I don't think I've missed one episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, which is a little bit embarrassing. I hope she doesn't watch this, because then she'll know I'm like a major fan, but anyways. So when I was there, I was like trying to keep my cool. We had to like sign a waiver because they were filming for the show, Keeping Up With The Rashians. When I was talking to her, they had the cameras on us and like the microphone above us, the big fluffy microphone. Like I wasn't nervous enough to talk to her. They had to be filming us while we were talking. But anyways, I'm pretty sure I kept my cool. I kind of blacked out a little bit. I don't really know what we said, but she was just really sweet the whole time. And it was just a really nice, private launch. Putting all that aside, I'm gonna put my bias aside because yes, I love Kim Kardashian, but I still wanna give you guys my honest opinion and just let you know, do I think the product's good? But that being said, I am only one person. There's tons of reviews out there. Make sure you're watching them all, doing your own research and forming your own opinion because what works for me might not work for you. And now that we got that little disclaimer out of the way, I think we can get started. But I do wanna remind you to subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed already. I drop a new video every single Sunday and a bonus video throughout the week. So hit the subscribe button so you can be notified. Without further ado, let's start testing out these contour kits. So Kim came out with four contour kits. There's light, medium, dark, and deep dark. So it seems like she has a pretty good like range of shades. The first thing I noticed was that the deep dark did seem darker than a lot of brands will come out with in shades. Shout out to her for that, but I don't really know. You're gonna have to watch some other YouTubers videos on that who have a different skin tone than me. So this is the medium kit. I'll probably stick to using this one the most because I feel like that's the one that's meant for my skin tone, but we'll dabble in the other kits too. You know, we gotta get a feel for all of them. But this this is what the package comes in. It's like a blush kind of nude color, which is very Kim K. You know, she loves her nudes. It looks like a Ziploc bag, like no doubt about it. It does look like a Ziploc bag. I think a lot of people thinking that it's Kim Kardashian, like they were expecting something very luxurious. It's just a bag, like it's no big deal. I didn't really think anything of it. I know Pat McGrath came out with a similar packaging and no one really said much about it. Let's open it up. The price is $48, I believe is what they're retailing for. It is a little bit high. I mean, you are getting quite a few products in the kit, but that's still pretty pricey. I can't get it open. There we go. So you open it up, the product's out, it's in like this like suctioned plastic kind of packet, you know? And I'll be honest, I feel like I'm the type of person that can appreciate really good packaging and beautiful packaging, something that you want to like display on your shelf type of thing. So this wouldn't be that. And that's fine too. A lot of people might actually prefer packaging like this because it might be even better for the environment. You're not throwing away all this garbage. It's very simple, very sleek. 
But I'm not gonna lie, I probably would like something a little bit more glitzy glam with the KKW like logo splattered on it, something to hold the products maybe. Just cause if you are a big fan of Kim Kardashian or you're buying this just because you're a fan of Kim Kardashian, you'll probably wanna display it. And the way it comes packaged, you probably can't really display this. You'll just like end up shoving them in your makeup bag or in your makeup drawer. So one's a highlight stick and one is a contour stick. They're both dual ended. Seems like everything is dual ended in the kit. We also have the little brush. Now right off the bat, I will tell you that these are a lot, a lot, a lot smaller than I thought they would be. When I was at the party and they had them displayed, I was very surprised. I thought they were might have been like a sample version or like a travel size. I don't know why I expected it to be a little bit bigger. I think from the pictures and stuff, they looked bigger, but that's just my first impression. When I saw them, they looked tiny. Like they look like a travel size version. They're not though. This is supposed to be the full size. On the brush, we have one side that's like a kind of kabuki brush. It's pretty dense, but has soft bristles. And then on the other end, we have the sponge tip applicator. Doesn't look like there's a lot of sponge to it, but it does feel pretty squishy. I thought that was a cool idea that she also wanted to include a tool to blend out the product. It does kind of look like a little toy though. It's very small. It doesn't have much weight to it, but it's very cute, very sleek kind of simple packaging. And I think that's what she was trying to go for with the overall thing. So we're not going to judge it quite yet. We'll see how the product applies. But right now I'm not like super blown away from the packaging. I feel like it's very Kim K though. So it's just your preference. If you prefer something more crazy, glamorous, you're not going to like packaging. If you like something that has weight to it, these are very lightweight. You know, there's not much to it. You can hear that. Can you guys hear that? So I'm just letting you guys know what it feels like, like we're being real here, but if the product is great, then who cares what it looks like? I always say that, especially when I'm reviewing high-end makeup brands. It can look so gorgeous, but that's not gonna affect the way it applies. So I guess packaging really isn't a huge thing at the end of the day, it just depends on your preference. So this is the highlight stick. It's got two ends to it. So one end looks more of like a concealing stick. So that's it literally pulled out all the way. That's how much product there is in there. That's not a lot. So that goes back to my first impression of it thinking it was like a travel size version. I think the amount of product in it kind of reflects that as well. So who knows, maybe she wanted it to be very like compact, very like travel friendly. I don't know, but for the price, you are paying quite a bit of money for the amount of product that you're getting. And this is the highlight shade right there. So I'll swatch the medium matte highlight shade. It's a little bit more pink than I imagined. I thought medium would have more of a yellow undertone because usually medium skin tones more have like an olive undertone. So they would need more of like a yellow. But but we're gonna try it out and see how it works. Just right off my first impression though, it does look a little bit too pink. Now let's swatch the highlight. Ooh, so this is like the shimmer highlight. That's very pretty, it's like pearl. We've got more of like a bronzy kind of warm contour and on the other side is a tad darker and looks a little bit more cooler toned. So that's pretty cool because if you want a really intense contour, you'll use the darker one. If you want more of like a bronze, warm, sun-kissed kind of contour, then you could use the lighter side very creamy literally just glides right on now let's do the darker contour and that's a very very slight difference so these are all of them swatched the highlight honestly looks so beautiful it's like super super shimmery but let's check out the other shades of the contour kits so this is the light kit we have the light contour stick and then the light highlight stick for the light these ones are so similar that i really can't see a difference between the darker one or the lighter one i think this one might be the more ashy one but it's very very hard to tell. Moving on to the dark kit. And then this is the deep dark kit. So it's the darkest kit that you can go. I do really like how each of the sticks are very tapered at the end. So you can do the very precise like nose contours and with cream contour, you do kind of want to be precise with it. So definitely the sharp point is going to help with that. So let's start contouring with the medium. So I'll do like the very dark contour, the darkest end right there with a little bit of the bronzing color right on top. I think for nose contour, I will only use the lighter contour side just because I know never like my nose contour to be too intense and too noticeable. You really gotta be subtle with it. I don't have a headband with me, you guys. I'm so sorry. I know you're all probably like cringing while I'm doing this. Even gonna contour my lips a little bit. The contour is all on there. Now let's start to blend it out. We'll use the little tool that it came with just to see how good it is. I'll start out with like the little brush side in little circular motion. Wow, that's blending out really, really quickly. Really quickly and creamy. But it almost looks as if it's like melting right into my foundation and a lot of the product is kind of disappearing into my foundation. But I really like the end result. It looks so subtle. It's a very, very lightweight, creamy consistency that's very like, almost like a balm kind of feeling. 
so it blends in literally two seconds that blended very easily and it's not streaky at all it didn't like patch up my foundation okay Kimmy let's see what you got let's do the other side and for the other side I'm gonna use the sponge tip applicator because the brush seemed to do a good job but let's just let's compare I'm gonna just dampen it a little bit now let's see oh no 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 so I'm noticing that to really blend it in, you need to pounce very hard. And because it's so pointy and not the softest sponge in the world, it's not very comfortable to do that. It's actually starting to remove a little bit of the foundation. And if I'm swiping it, it'll actually remove even more of the foundation. The difference between the two sides is insane. The sponge really is not working out for me. It's starting to lift the foundation, move it around, not giving me an even blend of the product. But this side, you can really tell like it's the most subtle kind of contour and it looks really really beautiful it blended so easily it took me like two seconds I can't use the sponge anymore you guys it doesn't look good so let's try that again with the brush Let's do my forehead before I get too excited and tell you guys my thoughts because I just I want to see I want to see the overall contoured look but so far oh, what the heck this looks so good okay this brush is like a magic blender it's actually doing a very good job and very quickly i think because combination of it being very soft and flat and then plus the product is super creamy and lightweight on its own it just does such a quick job of like blending it into your face okay so that's my forehead perfectly contoured cheeks snatched not too dramatically snatched, you know what I mean? Like it's not like I'm cutting anybody with my cheekbones or anything, but this is how I prefer it. I'm gonna say it right now, I've never been a really huge fan of cream contour products just because I find they're very hard to handle. You can get very messy, very muddy, very quickly. It can also be very intense. I would only usually do it if I'm going out at night or for pictures because that's when it looks amazing through pictures, you know, but in person it can kind of look like you have like a streak of like muddiness. This looks good in person. Like I will say it right now, it gives you a very subtle, very natural looking contour. And I think honestly, the majority of people would prefer that. So I'm going to say I'm really loving the contour so far. I don't think you can build it too much, but this side does look a little more intense than this side. And this is the side that I did two layers on. So I'm sure you can play with it if you want to add more product. So I'm really loving the contour. Let's move on to the highlight. Here we go. I don't think it's a concealer. They never mentioned that it's a concealer. I'm pretty sure it's just to like brighten your under eye. So that's why I already applied just the tiniest bit of concealer underneath my eyes. Just because that's what I would normally do with a brightening product. You want to apply it after your concealer just to brighten a little it's a little pink but let's wait till we blend it out before we judge it and i will also apply it in the center of my nose i'm gonna leave my nose like blending till last so we can make sure it's all blended nicely together and i will apply a little bit in the center of my forehead cupid's bow i'm a little worried that the brush end of this since i already used it for contouring might stain my highlight i don't want a muddy under eye so i'm gonna have to use one of the other brushes so I'm just gonna blend out that highlight. Usually I would use my beauty blender, especially for my under eye, concealer, anything like that. It's just very gentle on that area, which is what I like. So I can tell it's a very, very lightweight kind of formula. You wouldn't be able to use it as a concealer on its own. Even if you like a very sheer coverage, I feel like it still wouldn't do much for you, but it is doing an okay job of just brightening and adding a little bit of extra life to our under eyes. I'm gonna have to just go in with my beauty blender for the nose, because it's just such a precise area that using that big old brush is not gonna not gonna cut it so everything's blended out on my face and I will be honest that's probably the quickest cream contouring that I have ever done I think that just because the product the formula is just so creamy and lightweight it's so effortless to blend it in you don't have to work hard at all so that just means like if you're a beginner and you have never really tried cream contour before or maybe you're like me and you don't like to use cream con contour for that exact reason Try it again with this product because I swear to you, you'll like it so much better. It'll be so easy to start out with. So now let's just add the little shimmer highlight is the last step. It's still in the shade medium. I haven't had to like use the other kits. I wanted to show you guys. Uh-uh. It wasn't even fully extended, but I guess because I was waving around too much, it just completely broke out of there. Anyways, that's disappointing. Let's move on to the highlight shade and just focus on the product itself. So I'm just applying the highlight on my cheekbones, my Cupid's bow, and I'll do a little on the bridge of my nose. So I'll just blend out with my finger. So in the camera, that looks really nice and very subtle. This is beautiful on its own. 
if you want a natural highlight. Now I'm just gonna powder my face and set everything. I'll get back to you guys with my final thoughts. All in all, I will tell you that I really actually enjoy the product. I will be continuing to use it probably until it's done, which probably won't take too long because there's not that much in here. Just because it's my favorite contour that I've tried. It was so easy to work with. It gave me a beautiful finish. So yeah, all the cons aside, I think that the formula still takes the cake. I just hope that they improve on the packaging and give us a little more product because if you're paying that much money for it, even if it is a really good formula, I think that that it should be more of like a well-rounded good product overall and I think that this only has a few very strong points so that's just my honest opinion it might have been a little bit harsh I feel like it's a little more harsh than I wanted it to come off because all in all like I said I do really like the product but I'm gonna keep it real with you guys this is what I think I test products out all the time so you guys know my preferences and it could be different than your preferences so if you want to give it a try out for yourself you should definitely do so so that's basically it for this video this was long away Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it And if you missed my last upload all you have to do is click the box down below to watch it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys Bye